Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big Mike here. Terry. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It was like it seems like I was just on a live yesterday. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Hmm. An hour and a half live. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, we had a great time. Hey guys, if you didn't guess the secret channel like Lila Newton. Well, yeah, Lila, Lila, it wasn't Plants Family Farm. But and it's not Arms Family Farm. And, and it was an Arms Family Farm, but, you know, I can see why you would think that. There was an arm. Yeah. But Melinda Dobson got it right, and Jesse, over at Lazy Days Ahead. He was also. second place. Yeah. So he was the, sec the first loser. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was Groans Family Farm. That's right. Groans Family Farm. Put on the spectacles. He can't see. Uh, the creators is Kevin and Kimberly. They have 2.33K in subs. They have 182 videos. And they have 160.9K in views. Uh, this family lives on a small farm in central Arkansas, raising two kids uh, to understand that hard work pays off. Uh, you can catch them working animals, gardening, attending sporting events, or even going on vacation. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we travel this journey together. That's what their channel is all about, guys. So also, Beautiful family. Yes, they are. Beautiful very, family. Very. So also, going off of that on the hard work pays off and mm -hmm. kids, I put a link on our community page going over to Drew's Lens Reacts. He did a, a React video about two weeks ago, I guess, and somehow I missed it. Sorry, Drew. <laughs> but I just, I saw it today. I watched the whole thing. But it was little Lila, Lindsay's daughter, building her Volkswagen. Yep. And I think that is the most awesome thing ever. You yes. know, it, it, you can't, I, and I said it in the comment on, on the community tab, you can hardly get a kid off their console or off their phone long enough for them to do anything. And she's out there rebuilding a Volkswagen. She's 13. She's 14 now. She's 14 yeah. now, building a car. Building a car. And wow. she's doing it mostly on her own. I mean, they're Earning helping. It. Yeah, they're helping, you know, like he said, do the heavy work, lifting stuff. The technicals and stuff but, like that. But yeah. she is doing the work. Yes. So go go check that I'm out. I'm proud of that young lady. It's awesome. Yes. So also speaking of Drew. Yes. On the family board. Austin Stelmach. That's right. If you don't know that name, that is Drew's nephew that from is. Drew's Lens and Drew's Reacts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Austin is, uh, like I said, Drew's nephew. Uh, he is a subscriber and a friend. Yes. Uh, we know him personally. Uh, and make sure you say hello to him if he comes into the chat or you see him somewhere there's, else. There's Drew. Hey, there's Drew. Hey, Drew. Look who's on the board. Austin. <laughs> <clears throat> My one question to Austin every time he comes in, how's school going? Yeah. Not a big fan <laughs> of the school. So, hey, Austin is part of our family. The uh, Groans family farm is part of our family. Make them part of your family also. Yes. Okay, guys. So who do we got in the chat, Terry? So Joe Fix It For You was in here way early this morning. Way early. And then Lila Newton came in. Yep. Uh, Canadian Family Life, Melinda Dobson. Jesse and Lisa at Lazy Days Ahead, Mama Carolyn, Carolyn Clink, Rainy Ridge, Pacquiao Merns. Hey, Pacquiao. Uh, Alexander Dark Lord Minette. Hello, hello. hello. Uh, Jerry at Butler Family Farm. Deborah Rusignolo. Hello. Yes. Tracy Michael and Tracy, we did pin your message. At oh, the message deleted oh. by Simply Jan. Why did you? Why did you? Why would you delete that, Jan? <laughs> Jan, why did you delete that? You're a bad, bad girl. <laughs> I'm sure it was an accident. Sometimes a, people... Is there a thing for me Well, to... it's because she's a moderator, uh -huh. and she probably thought, oh, I've got to click to get that off the top of her screen. She didn't realize uh -oh. that it, it stays up there. Sorry. But anyway, There's Tracy... There's no way to do it again? Um, I'll have to find the message. When I find it, I will post it back up there, though. Okay. Um, hopefully, it didn't totally delete it. No, here. All right. So, no, and I can't do it from here. You have to do it. 
anyway, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. There we go. So Tracy had a friend that lost her husband in a car crash and the, he's leaving behind a loving wife and young children. So if you could all say prayers for that family, that would yes. be awesome. Thank you so much. Yes. So yeah, that's why we had it pinned to the top. So anyway, I'm sure it was a total mistake by, by Jan. I don't think so. I think it was Jan's sister. That, it could be Luce Fawcett. You never know. Yeah. But yeah, please say prayers for them. Yes. Um, let's see, where are we? Uh, Linda Peterson's here. Hello, Linda. There's yeah, Stewie. She is. Hey, Stewie. Stewie's going. Hey, to there's Husky Edna. Hello, Edna. hello my friend. Uh, Stewie's going to bed early tonight. He oh. said. <laughs> uh, Canadian Family Life. I mentioned them earlier. Let's see who else is here. Into the Mist is here. Hello, Lindsay. My phone is at one percent. Oh no. <laughs> there's a cure for that, Lindsay. It's called a charger. They, they make these little cords, like. <laughs> we understand. It's okay. Anyway. Elaine Buchka. Hello. <laughs> hello, Elaine. There's Patricia Hunter. She's here. Hello, Patricia. There's Angie. Angie. At our cabin. Angie. Alert. There's Felix Denmark. Hello. Angie is my favorite VA nurse. She is. Hey, yes. Austin Spellmox. Hey, Austin. You're on the board, brother. Uh, hey, how's school going? Hmm. There's Bowen at Thunderstick Homestead. And there's Gillum Farms. There's Johnny. Hi, Johnny. There's John Goes Fishing and Hunting. Yes. Des is here. Hello. Back Road Day. Freedom. Justin's in here. Hello, Justin. Are you, You're coming up to the meetup, aren't you? Hey, that's like a, a week away. It is. A it's, week, guys. Barely. A week. a week. There's Life on Dyer Family Farm. We watched a lot of chickens we hatching. We watched a lot of chickens hatching. <laughs> Over on Dyer. Uh, that's right. They had, they had the chicken, the, the chick cam going. Yeah, they did. So, yeah, watching all the chicks. Need some watch hours? Also. Hook it up to a, an incubator. I watched, See what happens. I watched the Redneck Weather Report, too. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's Dot Roper. Hi, Dot. Hey, the Moran Experience is here. Hello, Moran. Uh, let's see. Who have I missed? Evelyn Newman. Did you say her? No, I haven't. Hey, I Evelyn. Haven't. There she is. There's Troy Sutton. I think Evelyn and Val are coming together. They're leaving Wednesday. To the meetup. Yeah. yeah. So, because she said it, it, she wouldn't be able to moderate us next Wednesday because mm. they'll be driving. And I totally understand, and we're looking forward to seeing you. Uh, Maybe you can be on a live with us. Yeah. There's Ricky Giovannucci. Yes, he is. And Charlene Grady. Hello, yeah. Charlene. Hola, Jovita. Jovita. How, how are things down there in, in South Texas land? Yep. There's Mike Birch. Hello, Mike. And Lori Carps here. Hi, Lori. Jan goes, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. I, I figured I've, I I've actually done that before when I was I, think I was on SIDS one time and she had something pinned at the top and I, I wouldn't like it wouldn't go away. It was like dropped down and I'm like, I can't see the chat. And it hey, we're going to have to put a, a, a make a comment at the very beginning. Jan, don't touch <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, you're good, Jan. I totally understand. It happens. Um, let's see. There's you think, imagine if we put her as a uh, uh, supervisor, whatever that higher. Oh, the we'd probably managing, be off the screen. Huh? Managing moderator. <laughs> we'd be we, off the we, screen. We, no. <laughs> We're kidding, Jan. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there's Karen Breast. Hey, James Hall. Hello, James. And um, there's our buddy over at the Vineyard Farmhouse who comes on after us. Yes. There's Brian. Hi, Brian. There is Reverend Dream. Yes, Hello, Reverend we had Green a and... good conversation yes. with Reverend Dream yes. last night on Sergeant's Talk TV. Yeah. And you should go watch that. It, yes, it was a... it's an hour. It's an hour and a half long live, but um, there was some some serious some stuff hard to talk about. Yeah, some hard topics. Yeah, yes. and we appreciate him coming on and, and yes. saying what what and is giving happening. us his testimony. Yes. Yes. Um, let's see. Love you, brother. There is Miss Ann Dale Homestead. There she is. 
And dot Roper. You know, dot's here. And <laughs> who else is here? Oh, there's Roberta. Roberta's artistic. Hey, adventure. Roberta. Hello, hello. There's Shirley De La Cruz. Oh, hello. Drew's Lens React said love raid from SLR. All right. Okay. Hey, there's Peaceful Des. She's here. <laughs> Hi, Des. Yeah, we were watching SLR. Yes. And there's Bella Whispers Farmstead. Kristen. All right. How are you doing? Petty Jean River Homestead. Bobby. Hello. There's Marianne Bargo. Hello, hello. Hello to Beth Cornett. Beth Cornett's here. All right. And Neil. Pure Oki, JB's in the house. Hi, JB. That's right. Uh, she is the queen of Tin Killer. She, yes, she absolutely is. is. That's right. Um, let's see. There's Kevin hiking with Jackie Boy. Hey, Kevin. Back to good. Hello, Rachel. Leanne Gunther. Hello, hello. How are you? Um, Did I just see Mama Carolyn's in yeah, here? I, I just said hi. Okay. Too. There's Lynn the Oki, Mickey at Critter Creek. Hello, hello. Morning coffee with mom's here. Hello. Hey, welcome. And anybody that came over from SLR, we welcome yes. you into the chat. We absolutely do. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Deborah said, wow, chat is moving. It is because it I'm is. only like two minutes into the chat on my scrolling and it's yeah. 11 after. Yeah. Uh, hey, there's Tish. No judgment here with Tish Ross. Hi, Tish. There's Judy Harmon. Hello. Oh, oh, she changed it. It's no judgment here with Tish Ross, the, the podcast. podcast. Awesome. There you go. Hey, Tish, you should get in touch with Reverend Dream. And if, once you are wanting oh, somebody to interview. Yes, would... Reverend Dream. Yep. Uh, let's see. Midnight Vlogs. Hello, hello. Hello. Um, There's Barb's Country Homes in here. Hello, Barb. I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed anybody. Is that, how do you say that? Amy Gamey? I'm not sure. Amy Gamey. I, I'm not. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm probably getting it wrong. Hey, there's Larry Parrish. There he is. Hello, Larry Parrish. She's from the Parrish bloodline. Their parish is with the two R's, though. Oh. But I think at one point in time, it changed mm -hmm. from, yeah, two to they're one. They're the Missouri, one, they're the Missouri parishes. Yeah. Let's see. I'm looking. Let's look. <laughs> well, hey, there's Charles at Fallen Arkansas Veterans. Prayers go out to you, brother. Absolutely. Um, As you fight the good fight. Yeah. Also to um, Dana and Tim Mason. And I know Susie's getting better as we yes. speak. Yes. But also for Susie Jacobson as well. Sure. Hey, there's Lynn <laughs> Nag Nagit. Nagweet. Nagweet. I don't know. There you go. I tried to make it sound right. And how do you say this one? Jock Aguerda. Ag Aguerda? <laughs> Aguerda? Okay. I, don't, I don't know. I'm so wrong. We're tearing up, guys, we're, but we're, we're trying. We're names up Trust right me, now. we're trying. There's Patricia Hunter. Hello, hey. Patricia. <laughs> you said that pretty good. <laughs> There's Dana Mason. Hello, Dana. They're, they're driving. Oh, it's Tim. Dana's driving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Lone Cross hashtag MTP. Hello. Hey, there's outdoors with Big Matt. Hello. Big Matt. Hey, Matt. How you doing, brother? <laughs> uh, let's see. You said hi to Justin at background. Right? There is Butler Family Farm, Jerry and Susan. Yeah. We no, Austin, Austin, Austin said, no, I don't. Laughing out with testing season, but countdown to summer. He, go. He's got something to look forward he gets, to. He gets A's in summertime. Yeah. There you go. That's it. There's Heather Lansgren. Hello. Hey, Heather. Uh, let's see. Ace. Hello, Ace. Hello, hello. Hey, not for nothing. There's Ginger Snap. Hi, Ginger. Not for nothing. Homestead. And did you say hi to... Irene Malinow and I, Boss Buboy. I did not. Hello, Irene. Uh, 
See, I got to go through and pick up all the ones you're missing. <laughs> it's the old eyes, guys. It's the old eyes. Yes. Uh, let's see. You say hi to Liam McGothigan? I did not. I love that name. Liam McGothigan. Yeah. That's, that's a cool name. <laughs> is it, isn't it Scottish? It, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> We've been watching um, uh, The Traitor. They use that castle in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it a castle or is it a it's, manor? In Scotland. Let's see. Did I say hi to Kelly? I don't think I... I said hi Rebel to Kelly. Heart? Yeah, I said hi oh, to okay. Kelly earlier in chats. Yeah. And hey, Carlo. No, I forget. Hi, Kelly. There's Carlo. There's little Frenchie in Big Texas. Hello, Anne. And yep, you... You, you said, said your that. eyes are messing up. Mine's Scott Roper's here. Mm -hmm. Um... Said hi to Critter Creek. Critter Creek! Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Mickey, I would still love to have a copy of your logo he you really made when you did ours. Yeah. I really like that. I would like to use that. I would really like to use that. Did a fantastic job on that logo. Yep. There's Liza Devera. Hello, Liza. Justin said, yes, he is going to 10 killer. And All right. Safe. That's what I was asking. Yeah. And. Rainy Ridge is here. All right, guys. They're, they're, I'm trying they're, to make sure they're commenting. Hey, so guys, we've had a, I've had a busy week. You've had a very busy week. My goodness gracious. Um, they lost all my paperwork at the VA. Have to start all over starting tomorrow. Okay. I had an appointment today with my doctor, and the civilian provider just stopped working on it. So all the authorizations canceled out. So now they're sending me to Muskogee tomorrow for hips and knee Friday. x rays. Oh, Friday. Hip, hips and knee x rays. I got to do that. Uh, then once they do that, it goes to the orthopedic team at the VA in Muskogee, and they try to figure out what part of my body are they going to work on first. And I said, well, why can't they just do it? She goes, we can't, we can't just disassemble you and put you back like together. Mr. Potato Head and put you back together. Not the $6 you need to do million It's going to have to be one surgery at a time yeah. if it's warranted. Or they have to do something else. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, bad knees, bad hips. Evelyn They've said, already done the surgery on my back. It's it's. I had that done in 2013, and they did an awesome job. But I went to a civilian surgeon for that. Evelyn said Val had something come up and isn't going to be able to. Oh. Aw. Sad. We will miss her. So yeah. So. Uh, more appointments for that. We did put out a video on uh, Monday. Well, first we put the video out when Terry was oh. uh, scoping the chickens at Atwoods yes. for more chicks and stuff. And thank you, everybody that watched that. Uh, it did rather well. It's like at 4.6K on that one. Um, so it hit the feeds and short feeds and everything. Yeah. And so uh, you never know which one's going to hit, guys. Yeah, that one. I have no clue what's going to hit. That crazy. Yeah. Um, and so for some of the big channels, that's just like, hey, that's, that's a regular video for, for us. us it's but for us, it's it's something big, yeah. and th and that's fine. We don't do this full time. I got to work full time. Um, and then we put out one. We're prepping one of the pens out there, and I'm telling you something. Once you've had chickens in a pen and you let it set. Dude, it it gets out of control. <laughs> all the wheat that was in the feed and stuff like that, it germinated. And with all that poop in there and stuff like that, I mean, I had to weed eat all that out, clean it out. And here's a hint if you're a creator. Check your sound equipment, okay? When you do each shot, make sure that your mic is on. It's still working. I, the first two clips... You go in there and watch it. 
Um, I'm talking on there and everything's going fine. Then the third clip that Terry put in there, all of a sudden, no sound at all. The mic went out and I didn't check it throughout the rest of the video. And there was 12 clips to that video. Oh, he was mad. So Terry, uh, in her wisdom, <laughs> turns it into an old silent. 1920s silent movie. I was going to do black and white, but I didn't know how you know, some, some people might not have appreciated it, but I, I thought it would have been it, cool. It, it was good. She white. had the little narration yeah. thing popping up and stuff like that. So she did an awesome job. And then she said, now go back outside and do, and do, another. The, do a closing <laughs> clip, okay? So I had to go outside and do, do a closing, closing clip. So, yeah. But I'm glad it all worked out. So yeah. Oh, he was all worried. He was like, oh, it's not going to come out. I'm like, no, it'll be fine. No, it's it's okay. <laughs> so go over there and check that video out. Thank you, Jan. She said it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Uh Okay, there it is. There's the... Oh, Larry said, my dad was born with two R's, but my mom told me that before my sister and I were born, the cops were looking for him and he dropped an R to disguise his name. Don't ask me why. I don't know. So y'all could <laughs> well, be related. There you go. Are you there family you go. from Missouri? <laughs> hey, there's Landon's Customs uh, Classics. Hello. And there's Radio Jonesy on tour. Jonesy. From down in Tasmania. I saw something. Oh, Donna from Little Southern Brothers is here. Hey, Donna. And Marianne Fargo. I don't know if you said that. Yes, I said hello to her. Okay. And what else? Shirley De La Cruz. Yes. Uh, let's see. You say Bobby at uh, Petty Jean River. Petty yes. Jean River. I did. Homestead. There's Jody Young. Hello, Jody. Yes. El Elaine Buchka said some issues. See on college tomorrow for answers. We will say a prayer for you as well, Elaine. Yes. Um, let's see. I'm looking to see if I've missed any other comments. <clears throat> Drew said, hey, nephew, to Austin. <laughs> I'm telling you something. With all the prayer praying we've been doing, I'm getting pretty good at this stuff. Yeah. Still waiting on an answer. <laughs> Haven't heard nobody say, hey, hey I got your back yet, <laughs> but seems to help. Is look at Susie. Yeah, Susie's, Susie's recovering well. finally. Yeah. So we're very happy about that. Our cabin in the woods here, Tony. Hello, Tony. That's Angie's other half. Yes. Not her better half, but she's the better of the two. So I'm still trying to figure out how to pronounce that jock. Agudera. There's guns and barbecue. <laughs> Man, that goes together, doesn't it? Guns and barbecue. <laughs> Guns and barbecue. I mean, if you're from Texas, it goes or Oklahoma. Or Oklahoma. <laughs> That's right. Guns uh, and barbecue. Hey, there is Jay Granados, 44. Hello, hello. Hello, Jay Granados, 44. All righty. I'm trying to get to the hey, bottom. Hey, there's Treasure Hunter that. Neal. <laughs> he is. He's in here. Beth's here too. Yeah. <clears throat> so, guys, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The meetup is next weekend. Oh. Ten killer meetup next week. Uh, we're putting the dogs in the kennel on Wednesday, and we're taking off uh, Thursday morning to go up to ten killer. Um, and I'm going to tell you something. I'm so excited about seeing everybody again. I am too. I really am. I mean, there's some people that can't make it, and we we understand that. If you can't make the 10-killer one, then there's the Arkansas Valley uh, River uh, meetup that's next month. Mm -hmm. It's like a month away from, from now, um, and we're leaving for that one on Thursday morning also next month. What is that, the 7th? 17th, 18th, 19th, I think. Or no, 16th, 17th, and 18th. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so we'll be I've over there in there. Arkansas on Blue Mountain Lake yeah. with the family yeah. uh, going over there. Um, and and then after that one, it's off to Mississippi. And after that one, it's off to Pinecone Fest yeah. in October. Beth Cornette said, well, the way prices are going, barbecue may need to be protected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true. So I'm so there you go. Lazy days ahead. Just put the uh, thank you, Jesse. Uh, meetup dates there for uh, uh, 
the Arkansas River Valley meetup. We have wonderful and he, they're our next door neighbor on that one. Yeah, we have absolutely wonderful moderators. Thank you all. Jesse is, you know, he's the mod father. Yeah, so. he's the mod father. So what he says goes. <laughs> Says the Moran experience says we will be at the River Valley. All right. Can't wait to meet you guys. Drew said he's driving, but he, he loves everybody. <laughs> everybody. Er, everybody. Yeah. <clears throat> Thunder Stick Homestead. What was that? Like 13 minutes ago. So Jesus, the chat is hopping. <laughs> it is. We got a hundred people in here. We got a hundred people in here, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Um what else did we have going on? Oh, well, I guess we could break it to everybody. I did not get any more chickens. <laughs> she did not get any more chickens. No. I've got 21 of them out in that brooder out yeah, there. Yeah, we've got and chickens and chicks in the brooder right now. So I didn't And here's them. the funny part. You know, uh before the winter, we had like 30 chickens. And every day and every once in a while, I look around, I'm going. They just slowly hey, dwindle. I thought we bought 10 cherry acres. Yeah. Now and why do four. we only have four now? <laughs> but then I seen the bobcat hanging mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. And if you know bobcats, they're, they're swift, quiet, mm -hmm. and they don't eat them on the spot. They take them somewhere. Mm -hmm. They're sneaky. So uh, I seen the bobcat. And you can't just go out shooting them. Well, I know when we first moved here, we saw a fox. We did see a fox. So I'm wondering, too, if there's not still a fox around here somewhere that's stacking them. Excuse me. So in that aspect, it helps Terry's addiction of buying chicks. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I can buy We hate more. losing them. We do. We hate losing them. Losing them? Losing them. You're making up words. We hate to lose them. Yes. But, uh, I mean, animals got to eat, right? And we can't just keep them. I, mean, I, I don't know inside me. At the very beginning, Terry would put, she had her chickens in lockdown. They were not <laughs> we're leaving that run. Them out. Right? And then uh, yeah. she started gently coming to the realization that they need to uh, free, free range. range. Uh, but that's the risk you take, guys. Yeah, you let them free range, and you're going to go missing a few. So here's what we do. We don't buy the expensive ones. We buy the cheap ones because the cheap ones, <laughs> the expensive ones can learn to trip them because <laughs> all you have to do is beat one chicken. That's kind of like if the bear's after you and me. Lila, Lila is really wanting us to know she's here. Hi, Lila. <laughs> Hey, did everybody see that Lila's here? Lila's here. She, she had, is here. She, she had to take care of her mom. Yep. And she's unwinding with us. So thank yep. you, Lila. Tony says, I'll be right back. I'm putting animals up for the night. All right. Yeah. Sun's staying out later and yeah. later, isn't it? It's going to be hard here in, a, I don't know, a few weeks because then it'll be about the time that we go live is about the time the chickens will want to go in. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, Leanne Gunther. Hello, hello. See. And there's Neil S. Hello. Oh, he says, yeah. I've only ever lost two chickens to predators. Oh, we've lost way more than two. Man, I'm going to tell you more. something. When you, when you go out there and you see that a coon has reached in and palmed the skull of a chicken and pulled it over to the fence and just ate its head off. Mm -hmm. Dude, and you go out there and there's like two or three of them just laying there. I'm just like going. Hey, there's webs web. And coons are smart animals. They are. They will figure out a latch in a heartbeat. Yeah. Hey, what the flock? Hey. There they are. How is what the flock? Yeah, guys, if you haven't subscribed to what the flock, go over there and check them out. Hey, there's TNT Adventures, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Mm, let's see. You said Landon Custom Classics. Yes. Earlier. And there's Xander's in here. Mm -hmm. He is. I know you probably said his name already. I did. And there's Tamara at Heartland Headquarters with Dink and Tank. Hello, Tamara and Dink. There's Judy Herman. Hello, hello. Uh, Mary Yahoo. Hey, Yahoo. There you go. Um, yep. Let's see. 
I'm just trying Reverend to... Dream will be live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time. There you go. Go check there him out. There you go. MJ Casados. Hello. Hello, hello. And oh, Curter Creek said, I got something coming for you, Big Mike, at MT Homestead. And yes, Terry, I understood you didn't care so much for it, so I got a second one for you. Well, I it's just that picture is not flattering. Well, it's because I had my hair up in the bandana, and it, and at the time my hair was that bright, like auburn red. Which oh, it's <laughs> so I'm telling you, I, I don't know. you. Do you ever hear me complain about my hair? You don't have any. There you go. You got nothing to. <laughs> to I got to, nothing to complain about. Oh, uh, anyway. Web's web. Hello, but, hello. But Mickey, you did do an awesome job. Awesome so job. Don't get me wrong. Yes. No, it was awesome. You, you're amazing. Um, let's see. Anabor, hello. No, I didn't. I didn't get chicks. Oh, so thank turkey. you, Leanne. I mean, uh, Lenny Oki. <laughs> she said that was her favorite video. Oh, cool. Dennis um, Green's in here. Hello, Dennis. Yeah, Elaine, Elaine asked if I got chicks, ducks, and turkeys. <laughs> they didn't have any turkeys. They had ducks, geese. They uh, had geese. Um, they were out of ducks. They had guineas. Guineas. And I don't want guineas. Boy, those some loud birds. No, don't want no guineas. Although I was really, uh, those those geese goslings were. The goslings. The goslings were very cute. <laughs> we was, if we were going to get one, we'd call one Ryan. Yeah, we, we name it Ryan. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Or Ken. <laughs> Didn't he play Ken in the Barbie movie or something? Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Terry kisses my mom. Oh, Jody, out. you don't have to do that. Jody sent ten dollars super chat, praying your surgeries go well and the doctors and staff are pristine and skilled. Thank you. Uh, Larry yeah. Paris says trap the bobcat and introduce him or her or whatever. To your local taxidermist. <laughs> Identify as that. <laughs> whatever it identifies if it's a him or her. It's an it. <laughs> well, it's not just them. The eagles, too, around here. Yeah, we got eagles. We got all kinds They'll, of predators. They, they've snatched eagles, our chickens up eagles, before. Eagles, hawks, the bobcats, the skunks, the raccoons. Yep. Possible fox, the black king snakes, the coyotes, the the bull snakes. Yeah, they they just eat the eggs. Well, they that's a problem yeah, for me. They typically don't go after an adult chicken. No, they people go, people go, oh, you shouldn't kill them. They're good, but once they get into your hen house yeah, you don't want and eat them. eggs, they're not going to ever leave it alone. Yeah, they're good to get rid they of. Gotta them. Go. all the rodents and everything. But, eh. Be like Brittany, she takes them down the road and lets them go. Yeah. Down the road's not far enough for me. <laughs> Next county, maybe. Now she took it over and let it go on the hay bales. I know. Came right back. Mm -hmm. It followed the chickens, mm -hmm. the free rangers. Hey, there's Scott rambling with the brooms. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Let's see. What else do we have going on? Anything? Train the rooster on ch chocolate. <laughs> uh, but when we used to have... Um, uh, uh, Jared, JC, mm -hmm. um, he was our AM Samani rooster. We gave him to Josh over at Sherman Families. I seen that that rooster. Uh, AM Samani is actually an Asian fighting rooster. Um, actually, fight a hawk and win. He had spurs like that freaking long. Yeah, and he was just digging him in on that thing. So. He didn't run from danger. He was a Marine. <laughs> he ran into danger. He ran into danger. Now, FDR is a lover. Mm. He runs for cover. <laughs> but he does He does screech out. Oh, he, he and yells the hens know it, now. and they just dis disappear. Yeah. Yeah, he does. They've got their hiding spots. Yeah. Flicker Hill Homestead. Hey, hello, hello. All right. Yeah, so... Um, Man, my allergies are messing. Now we did put out David C. Um, yes, 
David C. Rabbit did have a date night with Rachel mm -hmm. and did his job. So we should have bunnies on the homestead probably in the next 29 days or so. So Rabbit's cycle is 31 days and she'll be giving birth. And she's she's hit it for both both kiddings. She's hit it right on 31 days yeah. each time. Yeah. She had uh what she had the first time? Five. <coughs> yeah. Her very first uh kidding was five. And then she turned around and there was ten, but one died. Yeah. It was the runt and it died. So so David C. Oh, oh, pink eyes. He he did his job. Uh -huh. Julia Granados <clears throat> said this last eight day stretch in the hospital has taxed out my heart. Have to be in air conditioning and filtered air for lungs and won't make meetups this year. Uh -huh. But she'll be there in spirit. There you go. <clears throat> so prayers to you. Well, there will be a, a lot of lives and a lot of videos to, to watch. Yeah. For sure. You'll feel like you were there. Yes. All right, and I Lindsay charge first. Lindsay said that they'll be there Thursday and Friday. Yay! What? We look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, when was the last time we actually seen Drew and Lindsay? It's been a while. Was long. it when we had our our attack uh, wasp sting Lindsay? <laughs> was that the last time we no, seen them? We saw them at the. That's no joke, guys. The wasp senior, and they said, "Man, that looks sweet." We saw them. <laughs> Stung her on the back of the neck. Freedom Weekend? Or, yeah, Freedom Weekend was the last time. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's almost been a, been a year. Almost. Uh, <clears throat> what else is going on? You should just show up one day at the store. <laughs> Go over. Say, excuse me, madam. <laughs> Could you help me? Uh... The problem is I don't know when she works. <laughs> oh, that's true. All right. So. so what else is going on? Anything? We've not got a whole lot going on other um, than meetups. We got a lot of meetups. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. On um, then on the after uh Freedom Weekend, uh, on the 15th of July, I have to go to Alabama to Huntsville mm. for a week. So we'll be on the road then. Um, well, you'll be on the road then. I'm not going to Alabama. No, I will be on the road then. Yeah. Yes. Well, you said we. Well, you turned down the Orlando trip. I never turned down the Orlando trip. <laughs> you weren't invited. You never offered. <laughs> we didn't have nobody to watch the animals. Okay. <laughs> is is that what I'm using? Mm-hmm. Okay. She's never been to. Uh, I've never I could been I could have been in meetings all day long. She'd be out there in, in Disney World somewhere. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's okay. I'll go some other time. Let's oh, see. Melody uh, Calkin says she was raised in Huntsville, Alabama. All right. My family lives over in Florence, Alabama, across the river, across Wilson Dam on the other side uh, in Alabama, over by Muscle Shoals. <clears throat> um, Lynn, yes, we have blackbirds. Oh, we had flocks of red-winged blackbirds for yeah. a while. Um, we've got cowbirds. We've got crows. Yeah. Lots of doves moving in. A lot of doves. Yeah. A lot of doves. Ooh, Dyer said, we are close to the announcement you referred to a couple weeks ago about another homesteading event. Oh. There we go. There we go. Um, let's see. Simply That's going to be a good one. <clears throat> Simply Jan said, our donkey took on a bunch of vultures. Cool. Really? That's awesome. Saw some deer in the back. Yeah, we're seeing them coming through the. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the only green grass around. <laughs> Everything else is just pasture grass. Yeah. So the deer, they they <coughs> come in and they they're the one that where it's just a single hole. That's the deer hitting the ground, getting the walnuts out of the ground yeah. or the 
pecans. Yeah, we don't have walnuts. I know. <laughs> oh, my allergies are driving me crazy. I'm just... See, guys, I caught myself because <laughs> I knew she was going to correct me. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. That's what she lives for. Hey, Chuck Hunter, how you doing? Hey, she says, hey, from uh, Texas. Mike and Terry have been uh, waiting to get some rabbits for the grandkids. Take care. Well, I will tell you when, when they come and you need to get a couple yeah. of baby rabbits for your grandkids, well, then can fix you up. come up Highway 69. <laughs> uh, John goes fishing and hunting. This was four minutes ago. Said back when I had chickens one time, had a rooster that turned aggressive, turned him into dinner. Yeah, we've done right. that. We've, to we've a had few. to do that too. Yep. Hey, you can't have you can't have one. <clears throat> we had the one that was spurring her. Oh, and I've never had one. That was the only one that's ever. Come and that out was FDR. Me. That wasn't that FDR son. Yeah, yeah, red. Yeah, red. He was FDR and one of the cherry eggers. Yeah, he had he he tasted good in enchiladas. <laughs> yeah, he was mean. Uh, Josh is here, Sherman's family farm. There he is. Yeah. yeah, Drew. Drew said, "Wow, you just had to say Sherman's family, and now he's here." Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, well, we knew he'd be here directly. Daniel Orange. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 don't work that way. <laughs> it didn't work like that. And uh, the answer is. <laughs> Speaking of big channels, um, Good Simple Living up there in Idaho. I was really sad watching oh, them yeah. the other day. If any of y'all watched them, but I guess their their Sharpay Kenji passed. Yeah, it passed. So that was sad. I had a Sharpay. I loved my Sharpay. He, he was a good dog. Um, yeah, Drew's, Drew said I either way. It's I, been have way a, too I have long. a Sharpay. Not a Sharpie. Oh, okay. Sharpay. It's it's always sad when a, a family pet dies like that. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing about that. I was laughing because I saw Jesse's comment and said, "Fair warning, Mickey, hide your wallet when you meet the butlers." What? Hide your wallet. Uh, what? Oh, did you get with you? Haven't got with Jesse. You were gonna see if he'd. He'd do you a solid. Oh, I wanted to know if Jesse can get some more of these cups here. The one he made me. But you have to send these. Jesse, if you could tell me, if you could find these and I can buy them from you and you can stencil the Sergeant's Talk TV if I send you the uh, the ping file. Because his, his <coughs> mine went out. Mine crapped out. Mine broke. <laughs> Caught on fire, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I need to get some more of these, and I would like to get, and I also have a flag over here. We support veterans for the other side. If I got those for you, could you make me them, and I will pay you uh, for your services. Yes. Because I'd like to get some of those for the meetup for the other channel. Yeah. So, yeah. Neil said, "Need a second mortgage to go to Disney anymore." Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Yeah. I when I went there, the I seen at the entrance is fifty five dollars to park your vehicle in one of their big parking lots there, and then you have to climb up to the monorail and then take that in uh, to there. But it's fifty five dollars per car. When we drove in, every parking lot, this was January, no, February when I went there, the first week of February, and the parking lots were packed. So I couldn't imagine the busy season, mm -hmm. how much they just make off parking. That's insane. Jesse says, how many are we talking about? You said like five. Well, I, I want I want 10 because I'm going to take five to uh, 10 killer 10 and five. Killer and Five over to Arkansas to, then, before they can give him away. Then Scott chimed in and said, don't give him our supplier unless he makes us one. <laughs> well, you can you can charge me for it <laughs> and you can keep one. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Yep. But I and I and I and I got a present for you, Jesse, when you come down. Yes. Oh, our cabin in the woods said he'd be happy to buy two of them from you. 
Yeah. He was just doing them as giveaways. Yeah, I'm so. just get, giving them away. And if you haven't checked out Sergeant's Talk TV, please go over there and give it a lick see. Okay, we talked about some serious subjects over there. It's adult content. Um, it's about life, past lives in the military, what's currently going on, and stuff like that. This next week, we're going to be talking about, next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, we're talking about why and what did they change the military bases' names. Mm -hmm. Okay? Very controversial on the for veterans. Very. So we're going to talk about that and all the bases they changed their names to a more appropriate and woke side of the government. So that's what yeah. we're talking about. Hello, Wanda Henry. She said, yeah. I don't have one of them because I held the cup. Yeah. This is the cup. We, we have these on our MP, merch store. Yeah, on the MP Homestead merch store. These and, and then, T-shirts. And T-shirts. Yep. So. They're there. But Jesse, don't you buy a t-shirt. No. I got you one. Don't do that. <coughs> um, so anyway. Let's see. What's, why hey, there's Christine. Miss Gillum Farm. Christine says She woke. said woke. Question mark. <laughs> Snowflakes are falling. That's right. <laughs> um, Drew's making weird faces. <laughs> let's see. Oh, dark, dark Lord Mina. Alexander said a lot of us don't get got one of them. <laughs> yeah, they're brand new. <laughs> they're brand new. Not, not just got them on the website. I think yet. our first T-shirt sold was to uh, for Sir Grace. Yes, at Grace and Fire. Yes, Glenda. Because I gave Glenda one because she was a guest on the show. Yes, and she has the only pink one in existence, and you can't buy one on the merch store. Uh, so she's got one of those, and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Larry Perry said January would be in Disney's busy season as all the snowbirds are down here by then. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. Oh, at eight o'clock Central Standard Time on Tuesdays, Elaine. Mm hmm. And... Just if you can grab that link to Sarge Talk TV. I'm sure he will. I thought it was going to pop up right there. <laughs> but that was that was Bobby over yeah, at Petty Yeah, go check Jean. out Bobby at Petty yeah. River. Yes. Okay. So. What? You, guys... you broke your MT mug. No. Who did? Who did? James Hall. What? That's sad. Yeah, that's sad, brother. <laughs> you, have to, you have to come to the meetup or buy it online now. Yeah. Or wait till Pinecone Fest. You could do that. <laughs> Let's see. If you have any questions for us, we'll be more than happy. And if you know us, we're very transparent. Oh, I've got something. When I went to Waco, and I may have mentioned this last time, but <clears throat> there's Rocky Gutter Homestead, and you can find them on Instagram. I, she does not have a YouTube channel that I know of, but Rocky Gutter Homestead. And she goes to the farmer's market on Saturdays in Waco and then the Fort, Fort Worth um, farmer's market. But she makes the most awesome Texa kraut. Oh, that's fire, guys. It was awesome. It Holy had... smokes. Have you ever had a kraut dog? <laughs> yeah. This will set you it's on a, fire. It's a whole new level it's of awesome. kraut on yes. a hot dog. Because <clears throat> it is, um, <laughs> Mickey, I broke my MT Homestead t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, so it's got like the cabbage, like a normal kraut, but then she puts jalapenos and carrots and all I, kinds of there's stuff. There's all in there. kinds of stuff, but it is awesome. So if you are in Texas and have a chance to go to the farmer's market in Fort Worth or in Waco, find Rocky Gutter Homestead because it's great. She also makes soaps. She makes all kinds of stuff. So yeah, go check that out. Um, let's see. Scott said, Drew, hard to find good help. How do I pin that? How did you do this? Terry put the comment down. Oh, sorry. I forgot to put the comment. I have current comment. There we go. How do you post this? Husky Edna. 
Let's see. Let's see if I can. It should be there. There you she, go. She put up a, a super sticker for fourteen ninety nine. Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Edna. Yes. <clears throat> oh wow. My son. My son broke my empty homestead mug. <laughs> Everybody's mugs. What the heck? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, and the guy at the <clears throat> Shamrock Station told me when I bought a uh, Mega Millions ticket, he said, I believe this could be a winner. He lied. He lied. <laughs> Barbara Hopkins says, are you going to the Arkansas River meetup at Blue Lake in May? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We will be there for sure. Yeah. Um, I still have to. I still have to get uh, uh, Gary over at Simple Life Reclaim four more uh, barrels for his floating dock on the pond. Oh yeah, I forgot. <clears throat> Dyer Family Farm said you could announce the Oklahoma Homestead Rendezvous September twenty seventh and twenty eighth at the McAllister Oklahoma Expo Center. That's right down the road from our house. Right. Yeah. So. So there you go, guys. And that's going to be when? September 27th and 28th. Of this year. Of this year. Of so this year. That should be a good one. Man, I can sleep at home. Yeah. That's right. That's mm -hmm. just right down the road. All right. That sounds good. Jesse, put that on your uh, events to uh, post on the other lives. Oh, no. James Hall said, I'm not. It fell off my bedside table and broke. <laughs> oh. That is, that is sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll catch you at Pinecone Fest again. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Any questions? Yeah. So can I see if I've missed Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't do what you're doing. No, you can't. You cannot do that. I can't do it, but you can if you want to post that over there. Oh, the Dyer. Yeah. The McAllister Homestead Expo. Yeah. There we go. There you go. What have I missed? Have I missed something? Oh, Husky Edna has been a member for five months. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Um, Xander says, ooh, that's a nice payback, but still not an empty homestead cup. <laughs> see <clears throat> melody melody Calkin said james you need a tupperware mug. Yeah. if he gets that rough <laughs> no no he must toss and turn a lot in his sleep uh scott said i'm feeling blessed i've got both my empty homestead mugs because i care for it for them <laughs> Thank See, you, and that's how that's why you'll probably get another cup. Because <laughs> you take care of them. That's right. You can't just have them on your nightstand half full of whiskey so you can get a good night's sleep. Yes. And, and we'll we'll throw <laughs> this one on here too. Dyer Family Farm is live every Saturday at eight o'clock central. There you go. Go check them out. <clears throat> Eight o'clock Central Standard Time. Oh man, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just keep sniffing. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's from the humidity today. Yeah, it's got all the. Oh, it's starting already, guys. Pollen. Oh, it's starting. That humidity was kicking today in Oklahoma. It yes, was it was sticky hot. It was cloudy. It was sticky, and it was hot. It was already in the eighties. Yeah, James Hall, he's down there in Wichita Falls, Texas. Yeah. My uh my cousin lives there. She is the general manager of the JC Pennies in uh, Wichita Falls. Is everyone say I missed something? What's that? She said I know, but he's paying interest to this way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's my Combat Vets Motorcycle Association. I've been a member since 2010. Yes. So 14 years now. Yep. And I've been retired for 24 years. From the military. 
from the military. Still working for the government. <laughs> How hot was it? Linda wants to know. It was like 87 or something. 87 it was, today. It was. And the humidity was high. Dicky hot. And I seen the geese flying in again. Those Canadian honkers. Mm. Man, they oh, Scott, poop everywhere. Scott's going to be doing a pop-up live Saturday night with Kevin at Tuber Chat and Mike's Favorite, Rochelle, and All a few right. more. Larry Paris said, I'm actually a new member, and tonight is my first time here. Well, welcome in. We appreciate you Who coming is this? in. Larry Parrish. Hey, Larry Parrish. All right. And there's Zal. Hello, Zal. Coffee time host. <clears throat> oh. Terry is paying me back for the mug by renting me a car so I can go to the meetup. No, oh, okay. she said he's paying me back. Oh, he's. There you go. Oh, she said Terry. <laughs> okay. I was about to say I'm paying for Gram a rental yeah, car. Grammar. <laughs> a po and commas <laughs> and all that make a big difference in how you read things. Not the smartest guy when it comes to the grammar part. <laughs> Good, it's a good thing that I have that dinosaur on my computer, that thesaurus mm -hmm. that helps me correct my bad writing. Oh, Dyer's Dyer said they'll have their candy. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. have it in here. Um, they'll have their candy at the Oklahoma Homesteader Rendezvous. They do freeze dried candies and pickles and all kinds of jalapenos, things. they do all kinds of stuff. And, and he'll be speaking about freeze drying and demonstrating about chicken processing. There you awesome. go. So we will definitely be there to see that. And let's see. That is true, Neil. It is hot in Florida. Yeah, geese are pretty until you get thousands. Geese are pretty much. Where, <laughs> where I work behind my office is like a 150 to 200 acre lake. Mm -hmm. And that is a stopping point for geese. And when they're here in full force, I mean, there are thousands upon thousands of them. And there is goose poop everywhere. Yeah. I mean, they'll get up just to fly to the other side of the lake and they'll fly over and you got like big bomb droppings all over the cars and stuff like that. Yeah. I think takeoff mode, I think they have to get rid of some of the baggage. Yeah. When they, they take off. It was bad because I used to work selling condominiums. I was office manager for a condominium place at the Lake of the Ozarks and we had docks and it was constantly it covered. There's <laughs> Juno Acres. Homestead. Hello, hello. The people with the camels. That's right. If you want to see the camel life, go over there and check them out. It's Juno. Juno. <laughs> Acres Homestead. Yes. Uh, yeah. Man, they're, I'm sick, they're cool. I'm sick Those of geese. geese. are cool, but they, they are messy as can oh, be. Oh, and then when they're hatching. Oh, yeah. You don't want to go near do, where their nests are. I mean, are. they're sitting on eggs and then... Out of the thousands and thousands of geese that's on the base, then they start hatching them out, and you got all these gosling everywhere. Yep. And I mean, you'll see them flatten in the road because they can't keep up with mom because they they have to cross roads for some reason all the time. And yeah, they're they're dead and squashed all over the place. Yeah, but you don't want to go near them if you get near their nest. Man, they'll karate they, chop you with a wing, and they they will, they will well. hurt you. Yeah. Um, Tony also says Jan has the Ozark second meetup May 10th to the 12th at Palm de Terre State State Park in Missouri. I can't speak. that's in May, right? May 10th through the 12th. Yep. And we wish we could go. We wish we could. We got so much stuff that has hit all at once. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, James Hall says, talk about chemtrails. <laughs> There's uh, Austin Selmuck. He's saying good night, Mike and Terry. Good night, Austin. Have a great yep. rest of your week. Yes. Skeens girl. Hello. Hello. From Louisiana. Louisiana. I did two tours there at Fort Polk. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, <laughs> Scott said, Mike, talk nice about our Air Force. <laughs> About the Canadian Canadian Force. Geese Force, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
you know. <laughs> See, and and here's the problem: the geese don't even belong to the Americans. Okay, but then you have to buy a migratory bird to kill something that belongs to Canada. It should be free game. You cross the border, yeah. it should be free game. <laughs> they don't belong to us. Right? I guess. And oh, you forgot to tell them what special days are today. Oh, yeah, it's national day. I've got I gotta do my national day up. So it was national um cheese ball day. I like good cheese ball. Yeah. Um, na National Banana Day. Yeah. National Crawfish Day. I could get into that. Louisiana down there, they they know all about mm -hmm. them crawfish. Yep. Um, and National Ellis Island Family History Day. Now we're <laughs> talking about the Ellis Island, Island outside of New York, not the one they're establishing down in Texas. <laughs> okay. Because that's just a free for all. Okay. True. That's just a free for all. True, said illegal immigrant birds. That's what they are. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. Hi, Joe Jacobson over in Eastern Iowa. All right. I, I didn't say hi. Oh, it's 901. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're cutting in. Brian's on, guys. <laughs> Go over there and check out Brian at the Vineyard Farmhouse, oh. guys. Does he have a guess or is it open mic? I'm guessing it's open mic. Well, we'll find out when we get over there. Hey, go over there, tell them MT Homestead <laughs> sent you, and let's do a, let's do blue hearts this time. Yeah. Whole bunch of blue hearts. But then they'll think we're White Rock. I don't care. Maybe they'll go over there and check out White check Rock. Check out White Rock. He's Homestead. my battle buddy. That's right. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming in. Remember, be kind to one another. Help somebody in need, and always, always think of that for this beautiful country that. Some people are trying to destroy. Anyway, <laughs> we love you guys. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. I almost forgot Brian was on. I know. I thought this was like Tuesday night where we go you as long go as we as want to. as long as you want to. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> night. Go, on, go on. Get, guys. Get over to Brian. <laughs> Good night, guys. All right. Love you guys. <laughs>